65 million years ago, an asteroid struck the Earth, wiping out the dinosaurs and ushering in a new era of life. In the aftermath of this cataclysmic event, the world was forever changed. As the dust settled and life began to recover, new apex predators emerged to rule the altered landscapes. Among these, one creature stood out as perhaps the most terrifying of all, Titanoboa, the largest snake to have ever existed. The age of giants might have ended with the dinosaurs, but the era of monster reptiles was far from over. In the steamy jungles of what is now South America, a predator evolved that would make even the bravest time traveler think twice about venturing into the Paleocene Epoch. Let's dive into the world of Titanoboa, truly the most dangerous creature to encounter after the asteroid. The story of Titanoboa's discovery is as remarkable as the snake itself. For millions of years, this giant serpent lay hidden in the rocks of the Sarajan Formation in La Guajira, Colombia. It wasn't until 2009 that a team of scientists, led by Jonathan Bloch and Carlos Jaramillo, announced the discovery of this prehistoric monster to the world. The fossils were found in an open pit coal mine among a treasure trove of other Paleocene animals and plants. But even among these fascinating finds, Titanoboa stood out. The sheer size of the vertebrae immediately caught the scientists' attention. These weren't just big snake bones, they were colossal. After careful study, the new species was officially named Titanoboa kerejonensis. The name Titanoboa translates to Titanic Boa a fitting moniker for a creature of such immense proportions. Despite its name, Titanoboa wasn't actually a boa. It belonged to its own genus within the family Boidae, which includes modern boas and anacondas. Titanoboa didn't just break records, it shattered them. Based on the size of the vertebrae found, scientists estimate that Titanoboa could grow to lengths of 42 to 49 feet, 13 to 15 meters. To put this in perspective, that's longer than a school bus. The largest modern snakes, like reticulated pythons and green anacondas, max out at around 25 to 30 feet. But length wasn't Titanoboa's only impressive dimension. Its body was massively thick, with a diameter at its widest point estimated to be about 3 feet, 1 meter. Scientists calculate that a full-grown Titanoboa could have weighed up to one and a quarter tons, 1,135 kilograms. That's about 25 times heavier than the largest anaconda ever recorded. This enormous size wasn't just for show. In the warm, humid environment of the Paleocene rainforest, being big had its advantages. Titanoboa's massive bulk would have helped it maintain a stable body temperature, crucial for a cold-blooded animal. It also meant that virtually nothing in its environment was too big to be considered prey. Titanoboa was an apex predator in every sense of the word. Its hunting strategy was likely similar to that of modern anacondas, but on a much grander scale. As a constrictor, Titanoboa would have ambushed its prey, striking quickly to seize the victim in its powerful jaws before wrapping its massive coils around the unfortunate creature. The strength of Titanoboa's constriction would have been immense. Modern anacondas can exert pressures of up to 90 pounds per square inch when constricting prey. Given its much larger size, Titanoboa's constricting power could have been several times greater, easily crushing the life out of even the largest animals in its habitat. But what exactly did Titanoboa eat? The Paleocene forests were home to a variety of animals, including primitive crocodiles, turtles, and a diverse array of fish. All of these would have been on Titanoboa's menu. However, given its enormous size, Titanoboa may have specialized in taking down larger prey, possibly including the early mammals that were beginning to thrive in the post-dinosaur world. Some scientists have even suggested 
that Titanoboa might have been capable of eating small dinosaurs had they coexisted. Fortunately for the diminutive early mammals of the Paleocene, the non-avian dinosaurs were long gone by the time Titanoboa evolved. Titanoboa lived during the Paleocene epoch, specifically around 58 to 60 million years ago. This was a time of recovery and renewal for life on Earth. The global climate was much warmer than today, with no polar ice caps and sea levels much higher than in our current era. The environment where Titanoboa thrived was a lush, tropical rainforest. The Sarajan Formation, where the fossils were found, provides a snapshot of this ancient ecosystem. It was a world of sprawling wetlands, winding rivers, and dense forests, all bathed in year-round warmth and humidity. This hot, wet climate was crucial for Titanoboa's existence. As a cold-blooded reptile, Titanoboa relied on its environment to regulate its body temperature. The consistently high temperatures of the Paleocene tropics, estimated to be about 6 to 8 degrees Celsius warmer than today's tropics, allowed Titanoboa to grow to its enormous size. The abundance of water in Titanoboa's habitat was also key to its lifestyle. Like modern anacondas, Titanoboa was likely semi-aquatic spending much of its time in or near water. This would have allowed it to hunt a wide variety of prey, from terrestrial animals coming to drink to aquatic creatures like fish and crocodilians. Titanoboa's most obvious adaptation was its size, but this giant snake had other tricks up its metaphorical sleeve. Its vertebrae were uniquely structured to support its massive weight, with special ridges and grooves that interlocked for added strength. The snake's skull was also specially adapted for its predatory lifestyle. Like modern boas and pythons, Titanoboa likely had heat-sensing pits on its face, allowing it to detect warm-blooded prey even in the dark or underwater. Its jaws would have been incredibly flexible, capable of opening wide enough to swallow prey much larger than its own head. Another crucial adaptation was Titanoboa's metabolism. Despite its enormous size, it would have been an efficient predator. Large snakes can go months between meals, and Titanoboa was likely no exception. This ability to survive on infrequent but massive meals would have been a significant advantage in an ecosystem still recovering from a mass extinction event. Titanoboa's reign as the apex predator of the Paleocene didn't last forever. As the Earth's climate began to cool towards the end of the Paleocene and into the Eocene, conditions became less favorable for such a large, heat-loving reptile. The exact date of Titanoboa's extinction isn't known, but it seems to have disappeared from the fossil record by the mid-Eocene, about 50 million years ago. The cooling climate likely made it difficult for Titanoboa to maintain its massive size. As temperatures dropped, the enormous snake would have struggled to keep its body warm enough to function effectively. Additionally, changes in the ecosystem may have reduced the availability of suitably large prey. However, Titanoboa's legacy lives on. Its discovery has provided invaluable insights into the climate and ecosystems of the early Cenozoic era. The very existence of such a large, cold-blooded animal tells us a great deal about the temperatures and environmental conditions of, of the time. Moreover, Titanoboa has captured the public imagination in a way few extinct species have. It has been featured in documentaries, books, and even a full-size model exhibited by the Smithsonian Institution. This giant snake serves as a potent reminder of the incredible diversity of life that has existed on our planet and the dramatic ways in which Earth's climate and ecosystems have changed over time. While Titanoboa was undoubtedly a formidable predator, how does it stack up against some of the dangerous creatures alive today? In terms of pure size, Titanoboa dwarfs any modern terrestrial predator. It was longer than the largest saltwater crocodiles and heavier than the biggest polar bears. 
Among snakes, even the most impressive modern species pale in comparison. The green anaconda, often considered the largest snake alive today, reaches maximum lengths of about 30 feet and weights of up to 550 pounds. Titanoboa was nearly twice as long and more than four times as heavy. However, size isn't everything. Modern venomous snakes like the king cobra or black mamba, while much smaller, possess highly potent venom that Titanoboa lacked. In terms of bite force, today's saltwater crocodiles likely outclass Titanoboa, although the ancient snake's constricting power would have been unparalleled. What made Titanoboa truly dangerous was the combination of its enormous size, powerful constricting ability, and the element of surprise it could employ in its swampy habitat. In its Paleocene world, Titanoboa was the undisputed top predator, a title it might well still hold if one could encounter it today. Since its discovery, Titanoboa has slithered its way into popular culture. It has been featured in numerous documentaries, including a famous Smithsonian Channel production that brought the ancient snake to life through CGI. The idea of a snake larger than a bus has also inspired fiction writers and filmmakers. While not always accurately portrayed, Titanoboa-like creatures have appeared in various books, movies, and TV shows, often as terrifying antagonists in science fiction or horror stories. This cultural impact extends to education as well. Museums around the world have created exhibits featuring Titanoboa, using the ancient snake as a draw to teach visitors about prehistoric life, climate change, and the evolution of reptiles. Titanoboa cerejonensis truly earns its title as the most dangerous creature to encounter after the asteroid. This giant snake, with its incredible size, powerful constricting ability, and perfect adaptation to its warm, wet environment, was the apex predator of its time. 